Um, the weather is beautiful, I must say that. Um, preparation is going good so far. The fact that after national trials, I had to take two weeks based on the doctor's decision on my foot. So, being back in practice in spikes, um, really good, of course. Ah, it's going good thus far. I'm, I can't complain. You know, I don't really talk. I, I don't like to talk about the Achilles injury because it's an injury that Popsino is ready. And honestly, I just wanted to maintain for the rest of the season and to, you know, um, give me the energy to go out there to bring the team to qualify for the finals for the four by one. So, at this moment, I wouldn't say it's a hundred percent, but I am working on it just to stay healthy for the rest of the season and to you know looking forward for the upcoming races that I have left for the season. Well pretty much as a pro at least you are um, gonna make addition and adjustment for improvement and I think having her being a part of my, my squad will help me prepare for the for the future and for the upcoming Olympics and championships to come. It was something in my mind from I um a year and a half now, you know I um, wanted her to come on the team and I think after the trials I said okay why not call her to come to be a part, feel her out now before we start the 20, 2024 season. So I think working with her now um, prior to the end of the season, I think it could give me more, I would say more decision to see if I really want or stick with her for the rest of the years to come or stuff like that. But you know I'm just working with her for the moment and if that's but I like and based on how she works and if her works can bring back the speed. Okay, I have a problem of um, having her on my team. You know, she's cool. She is a person know what she's looking for, for and and based on what we discuss and talk about stuff that bothers my injury and trying to prevent doing stuff that worked it up or act it up. So, you know, a team makes the dream work and I'm looking for somebody to, you know, help me to be back where I was and, and I think making adjustments you know and having the right mindset and she knows me like for years now so work with her so I can it can be so I know she will help me to get me back where I was before. So your husband no longer plays a coaching role? He's still a part of the team of course we will never lift him out. Ah oh, my injury is very frustrating I must say and it always acts up when I I'm supposed to open my season, I don't know why, but it is a part of the sport, I must say. I try to always manage it the best I can, but, you know, it's a part of my story. Everybody's story cannot be the same, and I think I would have a different story from everybody. It's just very unfortunate I'm not able to participate in an individual event this year, but the fact that I have been struggling this season, you know, I think I have speed in me, but because of the injury that prevented me from doing that, you know, national trials tell me that I still have a lot because it, take, it, take, it took me two weeks to prepare and I got a level, no, a level one. What if I had gotten more work into that, I probably could have booked my spot in the early, but, you know, God put you in places sometime, you know, to prepare for something that is coming big and I know and I can feel that something bigger and better is coming and I'm just gonna be patient and wait for what God has in store for me even though this season was a test and sometimes it forces you to give up but I think I'm tougher than that and I take my time to cry and to let it out but I'm fine now so yeah. Would you ever consider going back to Stephen Francis? No I won't. First and foremost, I will never jeopardize my team. If I know I'm not fit, I will not be here. And I'm happy that I was selected on the squad to help my team to qualify for the football one. And I know we can win that goal. So my duty is to help them qualify. And that's why I'm here. They do, I get DMs all the time. And this sport is a very tough one. It is called sports. It's not a failing sport because if you're not pushing your body, if you're not working hard, you will not feel pain. You will not have nothing to work on. And I know people might think that because you don't do well, you fail. It's not failing, it's sports. And for me, I think I learn every year. And I know I learn more about my body because sometimes I listen to your body. You do breaks down, they give you signs, when to back off and when to sit. And I think this season will help me to prepare next year for Paris. I don't know if that's what he wanted, but... <laughs> 
I just take it and sometimes I cry, sometimes I laugh based on the thoughts that I have in my track career. It's up and it's down, it's not on a even surface. But I don't question God. I do sometimes, I'll be honest. I question Him. But I had him whine me, but nevertheless, I think when you're a true champion, you're not gonna have everything sum up the way you want it. And if I was a winning, winning person, maybe I would be very bored. I don't have anything to work on, I'm probably thinking of retiring. But the fact that I have so much hurdles and obstacles to fight, I will keep on fighting because I do believe I'm the greatest female sprinter of all time. And until it's proven, yeah, I can repeat whatever I have done before. So I'm just working on myself and trying to come back in the best shape that I am. I know most persons might be worried that Elaine is done and stuff like that, but it is sports, you have injuries, and when you have an injury that is lingering and it never fixed, it's going to bother you forever. But my main objective and goal is to always maintain it the best of my abilities, you know. Yeah, and just continue to be a motivation for younger boys and girls and you know, nothing in life that is not challenging that you cannot face and I would just say to them, just continue to stay focused, work hard, never say never, never let anybody tell us you cannot or you cannot do this because trust me, Rome never been in one day, you know, and people might seem that um, track and field is an easy sport, it's not because you prepare your body for, I would say, eight months for a championship. You have diamonds, you have development meets, and those meets help you to be a world champion or Olympic champion, not just by champs where it's in March or April. So it's a long stretch, and I use my key word is always to believe, because if I tell myself I'm gonna break the world record, no one will believe you. You have to start within myself. And I write on my goals and my aims and aspirations, what I aspire. I always work towards them and just continue to believe in yourself and always put God first. And if you have people around you that support you and keep you on a positive level, just have them in your corners because sometimes they don't need those people to bring you back up. And I have a lot of friends around me that keeps me going, my husband of course. So thanks to all my loving fans and friends and supporters for the kind words and you know to keep lifting me up and that's why i'm here and until next time thanks for watching